Draft day is upon us, and we're talking my top five crazy storylines to watch out for this draft day. Inside, and a beauty! Hall running free! Reese Hall inside the 10! He's gonna score! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Just with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and today we're going to be talking about my top five draft prediction storylines of, of things to expect in this year's draft. Um, it's upon us, and we always see some craziness in the draft. We're going to talk about the five things that I don't know if people are talking about enough, but I think that are going to happen, and then we're going to revisit this after the draft. Let's start with my number one. And my number one is I think that a lot of people aren't expecting this, but I think that five QBs are going to go in the first round. I think that two running backs are going to go in the first round. I think three tight ends are going to go in the first round and six offensive tackles are going to go in the first round. Um, I think that this partners into my second one, and then I'll explain everything. And And my second take is, I think the edges and the corners are going to fall. Now, why do I think that? Well, we know that after, I think, just four, but people are people like Hendon Hooker for some reason. But after those five quarterbacks, after the two running backs, and then after the six offensive tackles... The fall-off indifference of capability is huge. But the fall-off of the number one edge to the, the number 15 edge isn't that big. And I think the same thing can be said about corner outside of the top two guys. After, you know, Devon Witherspoon and Christian Gonzalez, the gap from a guy like Deontay Banks to, like, Trice isn't that big. And so because of that ability or because of the the lack of the difference in ability from these players, what you're going to see is these teams are going to reach for guys who play positions that are more important to their franchises like offensive tackle, like quarterback, knowing that, you know what? One of these edges will be there in the second round. One of these cornerbacks will be there in the second round. Uh, same for like the wide receivers. I think a lot. Uh, I think fewer wide receivers are going to go in the first round than people expect. My guess right now is two. I think there's going to be two wide receivers in the first round. And so, with all of that stuff being said, with all of the information that's out there, I think we're going to see all of that. Now, that leads me into my third point, which is the quarterbacks aren't going to go as high as people think. I think a lot of people expect the quarterback to go one. I don't know if the, I think that I think the picks are going to go quarterback at one, quarterback at four, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe a quarterback at seven uh, or eight, depending on what happens there with trades up or trades back and then a quarterback at 11, and then in the late half of the first round, I start looking at the Vikings being the first team to really take a look at Hendon Hooker. Um, I think the quarterbacks are going to fall. I don't think that the NFL is as high on these quarterbacks as the rest of draft people are. Look at last year with how many Malik Willis's went in the first round, with how many Sam Howells went in the first round, and all we had was Kenny Pickett. You know, I think this is a very similar draft class Outside of Bryce Young, which is a, a, a quarterback that a lot of people really, really like. I know I'm not the biggest fan of his, and you guys know that as well. But outside of uh, Bryce Young, I don't know if anyone's a lock to go anywhere. C.J. Stroud might take a dip. Anthony Richardson might take a dip. Will Levis might take a dip. Watch out, because the quarterbacks aren't going to go as high as everyone thinks. That piggybacks off of my other one, which is the running backs are going to go high, higher than you expect. Wherever you think Bijan is going to go, he's going to go higher. And wherever you think Jameer Gibbs is going to go, he's also going to go higher. I keep seeing reports and talking to people that I trust that are in the know saying the same thing. And that's going to lead into the next one, which is there's going to be a ton of movement in this year's draft. 
there was a lot of expectation that there wasn't going to be a lot of trades in this year's draft because this year's draft class is weak. That being said, I'm expecting a ton, a ton of movement in this year's draft. There are rumors that Miami wants back into the first round. There are rumors that the Bills look at this draft class and say it's JSN or bust. So if JSN is gone by the time they feel comfortable trading up, they want out of the first round. The Chiefs are coming up for Zay Flowers. I'm willing to guarantee that if a team doesn't jump on Zay Flowers, watch out for the Chiefs to come up into the middle teens. The Steelers want to tackle, and apparently they're willing to go into the top 10 to go get him. The Atlanta Falcons want out of the top 10 so that they can draft B. John Robinson. I mentioned it before. Some team is going to come into the bottom of the first to get Hendon Hooker. Let's not forget that the Saints are probably going to trade up because that's what the Saints do every year. And then you have to take into consideration the Chase Young story, the DeAndre Hopkins story, the Lamar Jackson story, the Derrick Henry story, the Austin Eckler story, the Saquon Barkley story. All of these players that could be moved on draft day unexpectedly, not including the fact that Tannehill is on the block, her cousins is on the block, theoretically. There is a ton of positions and a ton of place where movement can happen in this year's draft. How desperate are the Giants for a wide receiver? Are they willing to come up for one? How desperate are the Cincinnati Bengals to go out and get their guy? You know, they are so close to being able to beat the Chiefs, and now the Bills are get, going to get keep getting better. The Jets are now in that conversation to be there. The, the the Bengals have to, they're in win now mode. This is their window to go out and win. You're not paying Joe Burrow. Go and get the talent. There is going to be more movement in this year's draft than people expect. So let me know. Well, you guys, oh, and I didn't even mention that the Jets might not want to pick at 15 if the offensive tackles are gone. There's going to be a ton of movement in this year's draft. Let me know what you guys think of my top five takes. Let's rehash them. There's going to be five quarterbacks, two running backs, three tight ends, and six offensive tackles taken. The QBs aren't going to go as high as everyone expects, and the running backs are going to go higher than everyone expects. The edges and the cornerbacks are going to go uh, are going to go far, and there are going to be a ton, a ton, a ton of trades in the first round. Let me know. What you guys think, and last but not least, happy draft mess.